Hey guys, it's Caitlin, and today I'm going to be filming my July favorites for you. I know it's a bit late, but I'm sorry. Um, I still wanted to share my favorites with you because there's quite a few new things that I've been loving this month. Um, well, new to me at least. They're not new things, but new for me trying them out. Um, so I did want to share those with you. So let's get started. I have most of my things in this box here. Um, and I'm going to start out with makeup. I'm sorry if it's dark because I am filming this at like 8 o'clock at night. Um, so it's getting dark outside. So I'm really hoping that the video does not turn out too dark. The first thing that I've been loving this month is a highlighter. Um, it's from ColourPop. It is the Super Shock Cheek Pearlized um, Highlighter in the color Stole the Show. Um, this is what it looks like in the pot. Um, but it's just a really nice highlighter. Um, it makes your skin look really glowy and it's a really shimmery highlighter. It's not like just a glowy highlighter. It's shimmery. Um, but I really like that looks like on the skin but I just really like how it looks on your cheekbones and this is what I've been using most days recently the next thing I've been loving is a blush it is an elf um, baked blush in the color peachy cheeky um, it's like it's a peachy pink color um, with like brown throughout it, throughout it. Um, it looks like this um, and it's just a really natural glowy color um, I have it on today but I don't know if you're going to be able to see it that well again because it's dark outside <sighs> really should have filmed this earlier but I didn't um, but it's just a really natural um, color on the cheeks uh, and it just Mm, I don't know. It just looks beautiful. It gives you a natural peachy glow and I really like it. The next thing is a mascara because it can't be one of my favorite videos unless there's a mascara in it. The Tarte Lights Camera Splashes Mascara. Um, I just recently got this um, not that long ago, like two months ago. Um, and I know tons and tons of people rave on about this mascara but I just recently got on that bandwagon and I love it I've been using this like every day recently and this one is the lights camera splashes one so it is the waterproof formula of the mascara and this is what the wand looks like um, but it just does a really good job of fanning out your lashes and making them look really full. Um, I use it on both my top and bottom lashes. Um, it doesn't lengthen them too much. It does a little bit. Um, but I don't find that it does an extreme amount. Um, which is actually good for me right now. Because if I put on a very lengthening mascara, my bangs just get all caught in my eyelashes. So I'm trying to grow them out and it's a, it's a pain. Um, so this has been my go-to and it's great and I love it. Next is an eyeliner. I don't think I've had a new eyeliner in a favorites video for a while. But it's the Kat Von D ink liner. Um, it's just the black one. Um, it's a felt tip pen uh, liner. I mean, it's just really black. It goes on really easily. Um, it's really easy to do a, a flick, cat flick with it. And this has just been the one that I've been reaching for the most recently. It's just re really easy to use. If you're looking for a new eyeliner, I suggest this one. And the color is Trooper, by the way. And it's also waterproof, so, I mean, I haven't tested that, but that's what it says, so. And the last makeup product 
um, is a lipstick and it's by MAC and it's Max Brave um, and it is a satin finish lipstick looks like it looks like this um, it's like a dark pinky nude color um, but I really like it it it's a MAC lipstick so it goes on really well it's opaque you don't have to like layer it on um, and it's a satin finish so it is shinier it's not like a matte lipstick so it is shiny but it's not like really glossy which I like because I don't really like overly glossy lips so I do like the satin finishes and to kind of go along with makeup I have two brushes that I've been loving this month the first one is a Real Techniques Bold Metals brush. It's this one. It's number 100. Um, and I've been using this for powder. Um, just looks like this. It's like a rounded brush, but it's kind of flatter on both sides. Um, and I just think that it applies powder really well. And I just love how it feels when you apply it. And I just love this brush. And it's extremely dirty. And I'm sorry about that. but. I just haven't washed my brushes recently, but I love this brush. It is on the pricier side because it is the Bold Metals Real Technique brushes, but I love it. And then the other brush that I've been loving this month is the Real Techniques, it's just the normal Real Techniques brush, um, the base shadow brush, just looks like this. Um, it, uh, it's just like flat kind of brush, um, with like a puffy end, I don't know, um, but I've been using this to like blend out the edges of my, or blend together my eyeshadows, um, but I've mostly been wearing like eye crayons or cream eyeshadows, things like that recently, so it's I just kind of whack those on and blend out the edges with this and I'm good to go because I've been really lazy lately. So this brush has come in handy. It's a great blending brush and it is way dirtier than that one. <laughs> um, but I love this brush. If you don't have this one, I highly suggest it because it's great and it's very useful. Then I have a couple of beauty products. The first one is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. Um, just looks like this. Um, this is what I've been using recently to remove my makeup. Uh, I just find that it works really well. It takes everything off. Um, this is the blue one so it helps even take off waterproof mascara, um, which I do find that it does. Um, it takes it off really easily. You don't have to rub really hard um, and you don't have to use a lot of it. So I've been really liking this. I just put a little bit on a cotton pad, rub it all over my face, and it takes off all my makeup. So I've been loving that this month. And the other beauty thing that I've been loving this month is the Neutrogena Build a Tan Gradual Sunless Tan. Um, it looks like this. Um, basically it's just a gradual tanner um, that I've been using after I take a shower some days. I use it every two days. Basically I use it when I wash my hair because I wash my hair every two days. I guess that's how it would work out because I wash my hair, I don't wash it for two days, and then I wash it. So then when I wash my hair I apply this because it just Makes it easy to remember. Um, because I am not naturally a tan person, I'm very pale. <laughs> um, I don't want to apply this a whole lot because I don't apply it to my face. So if I apply a whole lot of this, then I'll just have a really tan body and a very pale face. Um, so I just apply a little bit of it so that I have somewhat of a tan. Um, but it is buildable and it's a gradual tanner so if you want more of a tan just 
add more or more often and uh, you'll get a deeper tan um, but I really like it since it's gradual tan and you're not going to wake up suddenly and be orange um, so if you're looking for a gradual tanner that works I suggest this one next I have a clothing favorite they're a pair of shoes um, a fashion favorite um, they are these shoes uh, these sandals they look like this um, they have like this like printing around the strap here um, and then there's a strap here and it loops around your big toe um, I just really like them they're really easy to slip on um, and they go with most things they're just brown um, they're really comfortable they're not like some sandals that make your feet hurt after a while of wearing them they're really comfortable um, I got them from Maurice's I'll try to leave a link down below if I can find them online um, but I, yeah I just really like them I've been wearing them most days recently because uh, they're just comfortable and easy to wear and I think they look really cute so I've been loving those some movies I have been loving this month are the Harry Potter movie series. Um, I've been re-watching them all the way back from the beginning, um, just kind of when I have spare time. I'm currently on the fifth one, and I just love those movies. I will never be sick of watching them, and I can watch them whenever, and I will still love them. I don't understand how anyone cannot like Harry Potter, because it's great. So I've just been loving watching them all through again, from start to finish. I've been loving listening to two CDs mainly this month. The Selena Gomez Revival album, which is her newest CD, and the Demi Lovato Unbroken album, which isn't her newest one, but is the one before that. Um, I just had those two CDs on replay recently in my car, when I'm at home, just all the time. I love all of the songs and I just love singing long. I've just loved listening to those CDs this past month, especially. For some reason, I just absolutely love them. So if you have not heard them, I suggest you give them a listen. And finally, I have a YouTuber that I have especially been loving this month, um, Katie Snooks. Um, I will leave her channel down below so you can check it out. I just think that her videos are filmed really well. I think that she puts a lot of thought into her videos. And I just love her personality in her videos. And I just enjoy watching them. Whenever I see that she has a new video, that's the first one I watch because I just love them. So again, if you haven't seen them, I'll put the link to her channel down below. And that was all of my July favorites. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button and leave any comments you may have down below. And like I said earlier, I'll try to leave links to everything I mentioned down in the description for what I can find at least. Uh, and if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs> I suggest suggest <laughs>